Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richie Plunkett here from The Puppet of Geek and I hope you guys are well and doing amazing things. A couple of weeks ago, I got the chance to go check out the My Passport Wireless Pro launch by WD. It was a pretty cool launch as they had an animal farm, guys. They had an animal farm. Look at these cute animals. Now, I just want to disclose that the animals had no impact in my final review of the My Passport Wireless Pro. Dan, another fellow Australian YouTuber, got the chance to play with this hard drive for a bit as we were briefed on the launch about the product. They also had two Canon Masters there which shared their experiences about the drive they had been playing with as well. All in all, the Wireless Pro is packed full of features which the original WD driver was lacking and it feels like a much more diverse product from WD compared to last year's model, the My Passport Wireless. Out of the box, you'll notice the My Passport Wireless Pro is significantly larger, 4 centimeters larger to be exact. I measured it. Also, slightly a bit more on the heavier side as well. Now, this could be because of the 6400 milliamp battery as well, which is now built into the hard drive, which gets you about up to 10 hours battery life, which is pretty amazing. WD likes to call this all day battery. Now, you'll notice on the side there is an SD card slot, which, if configured correctly, you can tell the hard drive to automatically start backing up from the SD card. Now, the hard drive does a great job as well, knowing what has already been backed up from the SD card previously so if you were to insert the card again it would only back up what is the new data onto the hard drive. Now we'll focus this a bit more in the features a little bit once we jump into the software side of things. Now moving across the drive you'll notice the two USB ports here one for plugging in the drive to your computer and the other a USB 2.0 port for charging your phone or even transferring data to the drive which is also a neat feature which allows you to plug in adapters like a USB to CF adapter as well. Note that if you are using to charge your phone, this will chew into your overall battery life and it's a great feature to have on the go. The additional buttons on the side is one for power and also checking the battery indicator, which if you remember the last year's model has a different colors situation. Now this year model is easier to understand, which is the universal sign of circles, which is really great and a lot more easier to glance at. Now let's jump onto the software side of things and this is where it gets interesting. So once you've connected to the My Passport Wireless Pro and connected to its Wi-Fi, you can connect via the MyCloud app or through the web browser by going to mypassport.local if you're on a Mac or My Passport in your web browser if you're on a Windows. A lot of WD users out there might be familiar with this menu system which can be seen in WD's other cloud drives and NAS drives as well. So taking a quick glance at the home screen right here, you can see the capacity capacity breakdown of everything on the drive so far and how much we have free as well as a battery indicator right here which is nice and large so you know how much battery you have left. The My Passport Wireless Pro is also connected to my Wi-Fi as you can see here but I've also opted out to share my network through my drive. So that's everything from your computer, but you can also control most of these features from your mobile device as well using the WD app. Overall, the My Parcel Wireless is a great little drive to have in your backpack of tricks. Either you're a photographer, videographer, or even just a regular user who likes to have great portable media server, the My Parcel Wireless Pro will fill all those needs for you. My favorite feature out of everything is the Plex server. I love Plex, I've been using it for over four years now and it's great to see that WD has taken it aboard not only with the My Parcel Pro but with many of their NAS drives as well. I can get on about the My Parcel Wireless Pro but Dan from DanSube have been playing around with it as well. So Dan, what is your favorite feature of the My Parcel Wireless Pro? There are many features that I love about the My Passport Wireless Pro, but Richie, if I had to choose one feature that I really love, then it would have to be the SD card reader on the side there. It allows me to back up all of my files when I'm out and about on the field, taking videos and photos. That is a great feature, and it's a must-have for photographers, videographers, and even families that go on holidays. It's a great little hard drive, and it packs quite a punch. On top of that, it is a power bank, so I love being able to charge my devices when I'm out and about, uh, taking pictures and videos. So overall, a really great hard drive. Now if you want to go check out Dan's review, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can check out his review of the My Passport Wireless Pro. The WD My Passport Pro can be found online or in store. I'll put a link down below where you can purchase one for yourself. 
Thanks again guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did, make sure to give me a like and leave a comment down below in what you want to see me review next. Thanks again guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.